Good day, good day, and welcome back to your daily dose of Karens. Kevin, they're no good, idiotic public freakouts here, completely stupid, the show about stupid people doing completely stupid things with your host, me, the Australian idiot. And let's get into the clips. According to YouTube, only 13% of you guys are actually subscribed who watch consistently. So I ask you, if you watch consistently, why don't you subscribe? It doesn't change anything for you. You still get my videos all the same, but it severely helps me. So subscribe. OP here works at a hotel and she's got a customer coming down to complain about their hotel key not working as intended. And rather than doing it very calmly and collectively, she is yelling and screaming at the workers. Here's a clip. Well, give me the key. Just come back around to the front. What? Come back around to the front. No, you come up and make them work. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Here. She need to stop drinking. You know how this works? We get our money back. Oh my God. Well, what do you want to do? You want to go to your room you can't get into? That you pay $2,100 for? Is that what you want? Do you? No, you don't. No. Ma'am, stop locking your keys up in your room. That's what you did. You what? You went up in your room. I just made you two keys. No, she three, made me two keys, but they don't two. work. Because you don't know what you're doing. And my key I had doesn't work. So would you go up with me and make it work? I ain't going up there. Up to your room. I'm not allowed to go to Yeah, your we're room. not allowed to go to your room, ma'am. But you can go up there and make sure it works, right? It, it's going to work. Just go get you some rest, okay? It's gonna work. Go ahead and go up there and get you some rest. According to OP, that key was working perfectly fine. It's just that she was that drunk and incoherent that she failed to use it correctly. And rather than trying again differently, she came down to complain instead. What a logical conclusion to come to. Oh, this key doesn't work this way? Well, let me just try again a few different ways, like flip the key around or something like that to see if I can actually get it to work. No, no, no. Instead, you go back downstairs to go off at the worker, because that's gonna help you. Here an irate fast food customer who is going a bit over the top for getting their money back. Don't be my kid! Oh. Don't be my money! So I can leave! Take it. Give me my money! No! No, don't fight get back! Me my money. Hey. No. Get the Give me my money, you want So I can leave and beat my five kids at home! I already called the police. I want my money! So I can beat my kids at home! And seven o'clock, dude! And I waited an hour for it! I gotta wait longer? You haven't been here an hour yet. Um, I want my money so I can feed my kids. Take a chain, you loser. Look, the moment you go behind the counter and try to physically fight the worker is the moment you've just lost my care and sympathy entirely. Like, there's certain plights where, like, okay, I can understand your frustration here, but this, nah, get out of here, skedaddle, don't get your money back, get out of here, you're a terrible human being. Here we get dropped in the middle of an Applebee's in New York where we have a person going off and threatening violence against a kid who's a part of this group, bigger group at the table here. Oh, well, here's a clip. Oh, she wanna. Oh, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Hey. Y'all gotta tell me. No, pull it out. Pull it out. Pull it out. Alright. Shut the f*** up. That's a little kid. Push her. Girl, yeah. she about to hit your kid. Girl, push her. Girl, push her. Why she about to hit your kid? Yo, Because it couldn't have been me. Couldn't have been me. She wasn't talking to y'all like that. Girl, push her out of your kid's face. Shut the up. Bitch, snuff her. Why you got to talk to your Snuff her! Y'all bugging. Y'all have snuffed her. She wasn't talking to my kid like that. I'd have drugged her. Why is she talking to your kid like that? No, that's true. No, I get it, but that's a kid. No, that's a kid. That's a kid at the end of the day. It's different if it's y'all. If it's y'all, I would have been quiet. Exactly, that's your kid. Snap this bitch. She been bugging. She been bugging. Get her the f*** 
Now, the comments of this on TikTok were going after the OP for calling for violence in the situation, which I can kind of understand, but according to the OP, apparently the only way that the situation ended up being resolved was when security had to physically drag her out of the damn restaurant because she refused to leave in any other matter, which is uh, says a lot about this type of person in the first place, and maybe violence was necessary because they clearly weren't listening to sense. Here we have a Karen snatching an e-bike that was just unlocked by someone else and tries to steal it. Taking my bike, I unlocked it. Use that one, use that one. No, 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 it's, I'm being charged for this. No, I'm I paying know. for this. Oh, you pay for this? Yeah, she, she took mine, okay, I unlocked it. Call the police, call the police. Yeah. No, you can't do that, no, no, no. You really shouldn't get into this with me. No, 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 no. Call the police. Can, no, I'll put it back, I'll give it to racist, you. I'll racist. give this up. No, but you, you have to unlock it with your key. You are from here, you are racist, call the police. Yeah, no, you're an agent. She paid. No, she paid. No, she no. paid. Age before I, beauty. I, I, I unlocked pay. it. She paid. You did not pay. pay. Let me see your account. How desperate must you be to just do something along these lines? Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me. It's like, you're that poor that you would rather try and steal a bike that someone else is currently pay renting themselves instead of, I don't know, renting it yourself. It, it just seems a bit ridiculous and stupid. Unfortunately, this next guy helps enforce the stereotype that most of us see of cyclists. By this guy was passed by a driver who went pretty wide on the road to give him ample room when passing by him. He decided to follow the car to wherever it was going just so he can harass the guy over apparently being, quote, almost hit by him. Here's the clip. Yes, sir. Did you see me? Pulled off to the side, I did. Huh? I have it on dash cam. You and Nick did. I'm gonna go skate. No, you're not. Yes, you're I am. No, you're not. You're not. You're not going anywhere before the police come. Dude, stop. No, you're a asshole. Dude, literally stop. No, I'm calling the police and you're not leaving. You're not leaving. You're not leaving. Bro's got his hands on me and stuff. Yeah, guy Why? won't leave because of the police. Look at this dude. What are you doing? I'm Why are you so police. cranky? I'm calling the police. That's Dude, all. why are you so cranky? No, you're not going anywhere. Oh my god. You're not going anywhere. I don't want to be aggressive with you, dude. You already are. You pushed into me. I asked you to wait. You didn't, I didn't wait. Push into you did. You. How'd you get out of the car? You yanked me. Yeah, my I've got a very aggressive teenager here that almost hit me in the car, and now he won't give me his last name. And now he's trying to leave. I said I was gonna escape. You said you were leaving. I have it on video, Go dude. Go ahead. You're lying words in left my and right, pal. It's all on video. You tried to leave. You said, I'm leaving. I said, I'm going to skate. That's the same thing. I didn't say I'm leaving. Oh, he was leaving. I was not. You were getting out of the car. Stop you're being liar. A it's dude, in your you're... phone. Dude. It's in your phone. You're insane. You're an asshole. Okay, cool. Can cool. you back up, please? No, I'm not. I'm not leaving. I'm you're staying right here. No, because you might leave. And I want you to be here when the police get here. He's I'm trying not, to leave. Dude, my keys are not. He's in. trying to leave. Give me some get space. Get back like in the you, car. I gave you space. Get back in the car. <laughs> get back in the car if you're not trying to leave. Just get back in the car and wait for the police. I'll wait right here. Then don't try to get around I my bike. Like, dude, you think you were. You think I was in your space over there? Yes. Then. I'm a riding at, a bike. I have more rights than you. What? They're coming. If I have it my way, well, you're going to jail. Okay. I'll press charges against you. Fortunately, or unfortunately for John Doe over here, this clip was a very brazen thing from a bike list that people pretty much figured out who this guy was. Who is he? He's a guy called Gary Peacock, and you know what gets even better from this? We also got body cam footage of what happened when police arrived at the scene. Are you separate separate sides of the parties? Yes. Okay, if you'll stand over there by those, well, those cars. I'm complaining party. Fantastic. Can I tell you what happened? Fantastic. Will you go stand over there for a second? Yeah. I appreciate it. Over by the, the cars. I don't want you guys in earshot of each other. Because it just amps things up. Don't let him leave. You tried to leave already. Sir, I'm right here. Thank you. Negative, I'm called for. How about you? Were you involved? I whatsoever? I literally just came here. We were going to skate. Okay. So. All right. Let me go talk to him, okay. find out what his complaint is, okay. and I'll come back and talk to you, okay? You're not free to leave at this point. I won't leave. Okay. And then. 
As far as my ID goes, are you going to identify me to him? No, this is okay. for you to identify to right. me. Okay, I was okay. just wondering. Nope. Okay, my first responsibility is to get everyone away okay. so it doesn't keep amping up. Yes, okay. 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 So I get you're the complainant, but you were he's standing at his car with his door open. Yeah. I'm not gonna let him leave. He tried to leave. I know, but I'm I'm here. Okay, fine. And so for you to get a little upset with well, me and tell me I'm sorry, I was just walking away. I wanted to make sure you heard me. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry I yelled. Okay. Do you have some ID on you? Yeah. what happened what happened is I'm just riding my bike in the bike zone in right here mm -hmm. and this guy comes within you know a foot of me just total I ride my bike for 30 years I know when somebody either doesn't see me or is trying to or doesn't care so he pulled into this parking lot so I came by and I said did you see me and he says well I saw you on the right and I said, well, you were too close to me. No, I wasn't. He says he has a dash cam. Okay. So you should take, I, he said it, he was recording it. I doubt okay. if he was, but you can, you, did he mention that he had a dash cam? I haven't even talked to him yet. Okay, fine. So, so well, then I came if, over and I said, I, what's your name? Try, try. He said, I, I John. get it's emotional. Okay, okay. it is. I'm, I, John, he mm -hmm. said, I said, what's your last name? I'm not going to tell you. I said, well, I have your license plate. Dude, I'm leaving. Mm -hmm. I'm going to the skate park. And I said, no, you're not leaving. I'm calling the police. He said, I'm leaving. And he tried to push me out of the car. I pushed him back to try to keep him in the car. Mm -hmm. But he tried to get out of the car. I said, no, you're not getting out of the car till the police came. So you came. Uh, and then this other guy comes. Mm -hmm. And he's standing here. And these two are, you know... They're obviously friends, mm -hmm. so I'm getting more and more concerned mm -hmm. that there's two teenagers here and me alone. I'm 73 years old, mm -hmm. okay? But, yeah, so that's everything that happened. The guy, uh, I thought he was too aggressive Okay. on the road, and then he wouldn't give me his name. Okay. Well. I was going to report him to the police. I, I understand that. If he just that. gave me his last name and his his uh, license, I would have just reported. So but he's, he he's not to obligated to give his information to you. He is obligated to give them to me. Okay. If if I if I'm able to determine a crime, okay. Well, I'm making so, a complaint that well, he was within three feet just, of me. Just hang, hang, hang. Okay. Don't f don't fight me on this. Okay. Okay. I'm just trying to get the information. Yes. And I'm explaining why he might not want to give his information to you, okay. who's upset. Yeah. Obviously. If, if he cut that close to you, by all means, you'd be upset. But don't come over here and instigate a fight. If you get his plate number, and we can track him down like it's nobody's business, well, okay? I, I don't believe that's ever going to happen, but it could happen. But I'm just saying, generally, you guys are going to say, no well, way to prove that he was three feet in front of you or, or close to you. Sorry, it, we can't do anything. You're right. It is difficult to prove because I wasn't there to witness so it. So that's what so I wanted to hear. It's your witness. I, I understand that, but if you st start a fight over something that happened out there, you're now to blame on that. I didn't start a fight. I just no, 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 I, from I, I'm to just leave. saying. You said, do you I have said, a right to keep him to leave when I believe that he had a criminal uh, traffic violation? Traffic is not criminal. It's an infraction. It's not okay. a criminal. But so, I don't have the right to keep him here? No. You call us and we, we do that. Well, I did, but he was leaving. Uh, but... You let him leave because okay. The, okay. it's not worth, if if it starts getting physical, then what? Mm. I have to assume worst case situation. Then he goes to jail for hitting me. Unless you started it, then you go to well, jail. I didn't hit him. So you already told me that you kind of, he was trying him. to leave you. And that I right there. from leaving the you car. You can't touch but him. But he was touching me also. Okay. I'm, I'm only going off of what you've told I'm me. I'm standing in front of the door and he's trying to push me through like mm -hmm. this. And I'm telling, no, you're not leaving. So, so, I, so ask him if he uh, tried to leave when I was in front of the door. Hang, okay, hang, go ahead. Hang, hang tight. I get you're upset. You're directly involved. Emotions are high. Yeah, but what can we do about this kind of case it's where a teenage very, driver is, is being negligent and can kill somebody? There are people killed in Park City every year from negligent drivers. And I've been hit by a car 
twice already. Okay. Okay, so yes, I'm very sensitive. Okay. I'm just riding my bike. I don't want any trouble. But when I do, you want me to just let you vent, or do you do you no, go ahead. Want, want an answer to your question? I would like to know what you can do about this. Can I can I make a com lodge a complaint? Absolutely, you already did. But what you did, I, and I'm here. But then what? You, you come here. Okay. You get his license plate. Yeah. And you say, "Don't leave. I have the cops coming." Yeah. And if he leaves, so what? Because I will go find him. Okay. 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 I know but you don't believe that. that. But I didn't know that. But okay. I told I told you I told you that just a minute ago, and you're no, like, and I, I don't believe that. The time. Oh, okay. Okay. So that's the better way, rather than coming here and adding to the situation. I didn't have his license plate. There's no way for me to get his well, license plate. You drove in here, right? Yes, but generally that's when you they got just it. drive off. Okay. Once once he drives off, there's you're I right. I just want to admonish him for coming too close to me. Okay. And well, that's started. not your job. Okay, and I I know and. Trust me, I feel Do you. Do you ride a bike? Absolutely. A road bike? Absolutely. I feel you. And what I happens know... when somebody almost hits you? Okay. Do you want Do you want to vent, or do you? Want... I'm just asking questions. I Go know. Ahead. I'm trying. You ask me, what do I do? And I'm I'm trying to tell you okay. how we want you to handle it. Yes. Because I don't want to come out here and have a fight or worse, a murder because he doesn't like your aggressive tone. We have a case in Wasatch right now I about I road rage, I saw where that. a guy is dead. Is it worth? being a close call and you end up dead here because he does something. I'm not saying he's going to. That's the worst case that I come looking for. But let me ask you this. So no, 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 no. I want you to answer my question okay, for a second. Yeah. yeah. Is that the, is, is it worth it being dead over proving a point because you want to admonish him? Is it? No, no. It's not okay. worth being dead. Perfect. Thank I agree. You. But however. Putting most of that conversation short, I'm just going to skip over to the other part where he gets back to the biker after talking to OP, seeing the video OP recorder that we've also seen already, and here's the next section. Sign his citation that you were present for it, and then I'm going to issue you one for disorderly conduct as well. So, so if you'll just hang tight over on the sidewalk over there. Then I won't, I won't press charges. It's too late. Why am I getting, for what? Because you were aggressive to him. Yes, I was, but he was trying to leave. Okay, go wait over there. I'll explain it here in a second. Can't we just? Nope. Oh, come on, man. I was the, I was the victim okay. here. All right, watch out. We can go a different way and you can be arrested for disorderly conduct. That's an arrestable offense. What's, what kind of disorderly conduct is it? You opened his door three times. Okay, he doesn't have to get out of his car for you. He doesn't have to identify for you. You are not law enforcement. You don't get to come out here and enforce things. You call us and let us do it. Okay. He didn't say he was going to leave in his vehicle. He's like, I'm here to skate. I'm going to go skate. He didn't believe he did anything wrong. He's going to provide me the dash cam. Okay. He showed me the recording, and you were the aggressive one, not him. Yes, because he... Yes, and you don't get to be aggressive with people like that. Okay. That's disorderly. That's why you are getting a citation as well. Is it, why is it too late? What does it mean? What does it mean, disorderly? Do I have to go to court for uh -huh. this? You're kidding me. Yeah. You were adamant that this, and you were the one causing the, the stir here. What if I apologize? It's too late. I've already seen the evidence. I am obligated. I, oh, come on, man. Okay. So if you you'll wait over here on the sidewalk. Man, I've got to be kidding me. This. What can we do to resolve this? I mean, this is not act like that in the future okay. is how we can. I, I understand. And it's not going to fix today, but it's going to fix the future. I am going I to get, Portland tomorrow. I, that's fantastic. I'm going to issue. I'm you're not going to jail. You're, you're getting a citation. So you get to deal with it on your own time. You sort that out between you and the court. Is he coming to court? Yeah, because he's getting a ticket, too. What's he getting a ticket for? I'm going to give him a ticket. For what? for the violation that you swear up and down that he did, on your word. Okay, what if we just... Nope. What if we just resolve no. this? No, you asked for it over there. He showed me evidence. He's gonna provide me the evidence of that. It's either gonna substantiate it or discredit it. And his ticket may or may not go away based on that. Yours, however, I have evidence of. So you're, I'm gonna have a, is this a misdemeanor? Mm-hmm. So I'm going to have a misdemeanor on my Yes, because record. of your behavior. Because I got hot? Yes. And that's justifiable? Yes. Absolutely. Look, I've You don't get to demand people's apologies. names. You don't get to demand that they don't go anywhere. 
You don't get to open their door. I didn't open his door. You did, three times. No, he was trying to close his door. He closed it because you kept opening it. Yeah, I, I watched the video it. of it. Because I was talking to him. No, he, you're not, he's under no obligation to you. I don't know I that. get, I, you should know that. If he has do I get to just come? Do I get to just walk up to your door and start yelling at you? People do. Yeah, but you're not allowed to. That, that's not, that's disorderly conduct. That's absolutely disorderly. Because that's unreasonable that, argument no because you think you you have the right to do that and i'm going to cut the rest of the body cam short there because quite frankly it's 40 minutes long there's a lot that happens in it and honestly i just wanted to give you a brief highlights of what happened when the police got involved because we get that this time which is quite funny just for an fyi also the op managed to get his charges dropped against him once he sent in the dash cam footage so don't need to worry about that either in this next clip we got a couple of old folks at the beach who got caught perving out on other girls at the beach. <laughs> Excuse me? I just seen you guys take pictures of all these women and I have you on record right now. I would like to see you delete my pictures that you took of me and to delete all these other women's pictures that you're taking. Okay. Let's see it. Okay, delete them all right now. Okay. All of them. All of them. Wait, where are the others? Oh, oh, here's some more. Keep going, because they're all this way. They're not this way. They're all this way. Delete them. Delete them. All of these. Where's mine? Where's mine in here? Delete all these f***ing pictures right now. All of them. All of them. Yes. Delete them right now. I'm not going to go away. You guys are f***ing perverts taking pictures of all these people. No. Delete all these f***ing pictures right now. This man does, and you guys are taking pictures of all these women. That is disgusting. Yeah. Let's keep going back. Oh, there's a right here in the back of him. Yeah. You can delete it right there. Yeah. All of these f***ing pictures. Where's the one of me? I don't have you. Really? Because I saw you going like this at me. I'm still recording. Oh, really? Yeah. Then how can we have all these other bitches on your Go phone ahead. right now, huh? Go ahead. Where oh, are you? there's still more. If you guys know these people, these people are fucking perverts and they're at Fort Myers Beach. I mean, genuinely, this is overall just funny. I, I get it's a bit weird for people to be doing this, and that I do completely understand, but I just find it funny that these guys just got caught doing that. It's just like, they must be... I wonder what they're feeling in the back of their head about this. Like, who knows? They might like being told off. <laughs> I'm sorry. Here we have a guy who got thrown out of Walmart because he got caught stealing, and he's acting all tough like he did nothing wrong until this happens. Here's the thing. You turn something small to something big because Greenville County coming for you. Bro, you ain't right. See, you, you see how he's trying to act in front of the camera so bad when he was talking all that mm -hmm. shit in the... Talking about, I wish you touched me. I think the, I wish you touched me. I think the police coming to get you, bro. Wait, I'm just, I'm just saying, man. You try to pull out the camera, you know, trying to make everybody. What? No, I'm just saying, no, like the police, the police looking for you. They're coming right there for you. Look, why are you walking away? Look, there he is. He bad. Be careful. He tough. He's a bad man. Man, it's almost like actions do have consequences. Man, what a crazy concept that is. Man, I didn't know that if I did something bad, the police might get involved and it could lead to some consequences for those supposed actions. That's crazy. You'd think that. <laughs> Especially when you blow up stuff like this far bigger than what you necessarily need to. If you just accept the fact and move on with your day, I'm sure Walmart probably wouldn't have cared anywhere near as much as whatever's happened here. Because it's clear yeah, this guy threw on a big hissy fit about being kicked out for stealing instead of just 
taking it gracefully because yeah, you got caught stealing. Too bad, so sad, it's time to move on. This kid tries to steal someone's door dash order. It's not my food? No. What's the name say on it? Um, Isaac. What the heck? What, did it say it was delivered? Yeah. Can I see the name? That's private property. That's my food, huh? No. Give me my food. That's my food, little kid. Give me my food. What's your name? My name's Weston. West? Drop, drop wet. What's drop your name? wet. Two cheeseburgers, Sprite, apple fry. Yeah, that's my order. Drop W right there. Oh. Give me my food. Dumbass kid. Give me my weed. Dumbass kid. I love the the noise the kid makes when the guy when the, he realizes the guy knows a hundred percent that that's his and sees that it's his name on the thing. He goes, "Oh, oh, okay." <laughs> you know you did something wrong here. You just were trying to avoid admitting that until you really got caught d dead in the act. Here we have a very interesting series of clips here. So basically, this person's come into this grocery store and has gone to the cash registers. She's put a basket on the thing and expects the cash register to unload it. I will honestly go in more detail about my feelings on that at the end of all this, purely because there's a lot to go through. The second clip is after the cash register called the police, which is kind of stupid, but anyway, it happened. And then the last clip is after a lot of people in the comment section of the first two clips called her petty and other things along those lines. Let's roll through them so this man here he acting like he gonna die if he unpack my groceries even though as y'all know i'm outside with my hands full of stuff but it's killing him and now he have left the register because he doesn't want to unpack my groceries because this is what this is what america is like you're not at self-checkout but you can't get service at the actual checkout because if they have to actually touch groceries it's gonna kill them like lord jesus i don't get it Everybody wants this American dream, but I promise you, any type of work is impossible for people. I want them to take the groceries out the basket. He called the police. Yes, that's why. He called the police. I went to another line because he didn't want to ring my groceries. But I haven't left, but I'm still at a register waiting for somebody to ring my groceries. Oh, Lord. I can't force her to take her groceries out. I'm trying to tell him that he don't make no so sense. If, if not, you're going to have to leave. If they don't I just want to pay for my groceries. I don't even understand why he called the police on me for trying to pay for my groceries. He is literally weaponizing the police against a black person for trying to grocery shop. I've been here for 30 minutes and he called the police on me because I won't do it myself. I'm not at self-checkout. And he, because he won't let them ring up my groceries. I don't even understand it. That's why I'm recording it. I, it's ridiculous. So, unfortunately, if you don't, if you don't take them out, I, I want you to tell me whatever you want to tell me because I'm going to just give it to his boss in the morning because he called the police on me because he didn't want them to do their job and ring up my groceries. Take it off of where and put it where? Hold it. Yeah. This is his issue. This yeah. is this man's issue over there that I wouldn't take the groceries out there. I was holding I it, which is why I didn't take it out the basket. I was holding all of this in my hand, and I said, sir, I got all this stuff in my hand. And he said, well, then I'm not going to ring up your groceries. I don't understand what, I don't understand people. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Is this a reason to call the cops? Am I a, am I a criminal right now? Like, he literally called the police because I didn't want to move the groceries out the basket. And in the morning, I'm going to bring this to your boss and I'm going to make them fire you because you called the police on me for not ringing up my own groceries. So I'm just making this post because I see a lot of y'all are very uptight about stuff that you can't control. And first of all, you know what the police officer told him? If you ever call me back up here again for something so stupid, you will get arrested. He apologized to the police for calling the police. And he apologized to me because guess what? The store policy is literally they do have to take the groceries out of the basket. They also deliver your groceries home in a whole shopping cart for free if you spend over fifty dollars. And anybody questioning if I have EBT, I don't. But if you have something to sell me, I'll take it. Bitch, I'm a paying American citizen and I work in service and I serve people. And sometimes you do things that are a little bit out of the way. But that change jar at the tip of his register wanting a tip. And then telling everybody else not to ring my groceries up and then calling the cops. I dragged it. I love when people drag it because you're right. I'm off for four days. I got nothing but time.
I look at this and I just find this fight it to be very, very extremely petty. And from both sides, honestly. It's very petty to get this all up in arms when one guy doesn't want to unload your basket for you in a case like this. And it's also extremely petty from that registered person to say, A, no one else server, blah, 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 crap like that. And then also to call the police on a situation like this. That is extremely petty, really stupid, beyond means a very big waste of police time, and that is something I think we can all agree on here. And ultimately, I do kind of get where she comes from a little bit here. At least over here in Australia, there is, I used to work registers myself, not anymore, because it is the least enjoyable job to ever do. I. I'm so glad I got out of it. Anyway, uh, ba one of the more common things is like older people, people with walkers or something along those lines who've only gotten a basket and has a bunch of items in their basket, they would just usually put the basket on the conveyor belt and kind of just let the conveyor belt take it to you and you just have to pull the items out of the basket and scan them. It is just something you do because, you know, sometimes some people either, like some people just can't unload the baskets themselves too easily at the height of those counters or B, they just don't want to and they're lazy and it's kind of one of those things as customer service, you just do it because going after it in any other way is kind of just stupid and unnecessary waste of time and waste of effort and just a big way to annoy other customers that are potentially waiting in line. It's just like, they will some, they'll do it, you just unload it, you scan the items and you just do your job. It's not worth this crap, honestly, at all. It is very, very petty that she's taken it the stance that she has here and again, very petty from the register point of view as well for just treating it how it is here. It's just a very petty situation as a whole. In this next clip we got a Karen who's attempting to throw the book, and not only the book, but every single book in the book at the police officers to try and get a police officer charged for something. Hi there. Hi. Hi. So, um, sorry, I'll, you can go ahead. Yeah. Uh, we are here because we want to file charges against Officer Mendoza because it was uh, an unlawful imprisonment yesterday. Okay. And I'm not sure if you guys know about what, uh, the, pardon me, hold on please. Yeah. Uh, 602 is the penal code which describes trespass. Okay. Um, there's absolutely nothing in there that would allow the officer to arrest my friend. There was actually two friends that were harassed yesterday. In a public federal building. Yeah, a federal building. Okay. And then uh, we just want to make sure that you guys know about uh, Title 42, 1983. Okay. Um, which gives us the ability to strip you of your immunity and sue you. Okay. Uh, and then there's also Title 18. 242, which is deprivation of rights under color of law. Okay. So when you guys have taken an oath to the Constitution and you violate our rights, these are actually criminal charges that we can file against you. Okay. And uh, I, I know you've got a lot of things to do, but we have a lot of things no, to do. No, I understand too. that. Right. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Title 18, 241 doesn't really apply yesterday because that's conspiracy against rights. Okay. Um, but you guys can be. Uh, Fine. Okay. You can be imprisoned, and then there's even more uh, serious okay. uh, uh, penalties that you can file against you. So uh, we would like to file charges. How okay. Do we go, how do, how, and that's why I'm okay, here. Okay. How do we go about that? And that's that? why I'm here. So okay. that's, I understand that's a lot, and you guys have a lot on your mind. Um, no, I would I, say we're probably just a well-informed, yeah. well-educated, peaceful people that are sick and tired of having our rights violated. Okay. So um, we want to hold you guys accountable. Okay. I was told you were requesting. Was that sergeant. Terry? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is Terry his no, supervisor? That's the chief. Okay. Okay. That's our chief. In a matter of thirty minutes, if that is all I'm asking of your patience. Okay. Um, it's going to be no sooner than that, unfortunately. Okay. okay so kidnapping is not serious enough that's not, for you that's guys. Not what I'm it's trespassing is more serious that's for that. Uh, right. Saying. Okay, okay, but you guys showed up yesterday within one minute. No, no, no. To, no, uh, to arrest my friend for trespassing, and you, I mean I'm, I'm clearly. Clearly, you don't even know what the trespass means, the 602 penal code. I'm um, telling so you. So I want to be able to hand you. that over, but 30 minutes for I'm unlawful telling, imprisonment okay. and kidnapping is not serious enough for so anybody I'm, to come over here. I'm telling okay. you. Okay. One is not available until two. I see. Okay. The phone that you continued to call was tying up emergency lines. Okay, so I wanted to this contact you guys. I understand. We've been trying to do this since yesterday. Okay, I understand that, but you called, you made a, a call for service and it was registered, but I wanted to speak with you to let you know that you do not need to continue to call into call into call, okay? Because you will be helped. 
It's okay, just a well, of time. we do need to continue to call because this is a serious crime that we need to. And we have other support. things to attend to too. Yeah, so we do. We can stand out here and wait. I have. We've been made to wait for half an hour. But to you're report, requesting to speak with to a supervisor. To report a kidnapping. But you're requesting to speak with a supervisor. This is a kidnapping. Okay. Do you understand that? No, we we want right to here press in Title 18, 242. It says I'm just including you know. kidnapping. That a supervisor will we be available with you guys. We were made to wait half an hour to report a kidnapping. And everything like that. Did you, you guys can speak take with an oath to, to the Constitution? Okay. I'm just letting you know. Did you guys take that an oath? That the person you want to speak to will be available at two. Okay, you're dismissed. So can you send him? Stop can you send him? Can Can you start the paperwork on? I'd like to press charges on the post office. Okay. So. So Let's that's start the that. Building, you're going to need to contact the federal office. They have their own. Why did you guys show? Why did you? Is that out of your no, jurisdiction? No, no, what were you doing in there? Charges. I'm. I'm not too sure about that. Why so did you guys show up on that. a federal building? Okay. So. Why did you guys you show up on a? Against them, you're going to need to speak. To She's them. asking you a question. Why okay. did you guys show up on they a federal building? They contacted us for a trust. And we're contacting we're you to press charges. I understand that. So what I'm saying. So talk your way out of that. I'm not talking my way out of anything. Well then, let's start the paperwork. Let's start it. We're ready. Why we're waiting? Okay. No. But while we're waiting for the supervisor, said, you can start the paperwork. Let's start it. We want, we you want can't start the paperwork. Yet. You can't start the paperwork. All I'm saying is, you have the authority to ask people so many questions and to bully them, but you can't start the paperwork so that we can start pressing charges. We're not having this anymore. Okay. You get it? And you we're can, sick you can, and tired of this with you guys. So are you are you refusing to start these police reports? An unlawful imprisonment and kidnapping yesterday because we have here. Uh, uh, do you know what the penal code is for trespassing? Mm -hmm. Do you know what it is? Mm -hmm. What is it? 602. Okay, can you show me anywhere in the uh, trespassing uh, penal code of 602 how it is that my friends um, violated that yesterday? I don't know who, what friend you're talking about. Well, I had two friends, uh, one was actually arrested. Yes. Uh, can you show us in here uh, what he violated in the penal code 602? I didn't arrest That him. would cause you... Okay, well, you're the he supervisor. He was there. You can show he us. Did. He didn't arrest him. Him. But you were there. Okay, well, I mean, are you... you the, do you have now. anything else that you need from us? We want to press right, charges. Right. Are you, well, if it's federal law that you're trying to press charges on, are you talking... What, what, what do you want to press charges on? On the officer and on the post office. The that post office. The, po the post office is the federal government. We don't. We don't do federal government. Then why did you so come and arrest our friend yesterday? Your friend was. No, he wasn't. Just, uh, you can finish. Okay. I'm not trying to. Just want to be rude, guys. Be rude, but I, as a public citizen, don't have to listen to you guys being disrespectful or rude. Oh, absolutely, you do. You're no, public servants. You work for public, us. Public servants doesn't give you. Okay. Well, we're going to scream and yell at us. So we're, not, we're not So yelling. what I'm trying to tell you is. From my understanding, just so you know that I, I wasn't there, I was told he left the building. He was told by the officer to leave the building as a representative of the post office. He came back in and then refused to leave okay. for trespassing. Let That's me, it. If you don't leave, then you have to, if you refuse to identify yourself and you refuse to leave the building, you have to be requested to leave. He was arrested. Again, I wasn't there. Okay, so can you explain why it is that you we're willing to arrest him, but now you're claiming that you don't you don't have jurisdiction over a federal building? No, weapon. we don't have jurisdiction for what the federal code is. If you have a complaint against the post office, I can't do anything about that. You have to take it up with the federal government. Okay, that's, so that's in other me. words, you can arrest private citizens on federal land. If they've been okay. asked to leave, you if just, you can read the thing. Okay. If, if you know what the guidelines are for the post office, you might want to look those up. Okay, but I just I just I just want to be clear. Wait, wait, wait. You work for me. You wait, wait, need, you wait, know wait, what you wait, need to hold on to. No, no. All right, well, okay, so again, I told you if you're not gonna let me finish, we're just gonna Okay, leave. then I think you should probably take these I don't with need you. Those but like I said, oh, if you, actually, if you, you do. would it like, doesn't you matter if you take them or not. If you look on the post office This is Title forty two, it gives us the ability to sue you guys. That's fine, right? That's you have the No, I think that you really need to know about this because we're angry and we're gonna do this. This is Title forty two. The post office they tell you what you guys can do. Of rights under There's the actually a page law. that says what you're allowed to do. Uh, so you might you, want to look for those. Did you notice that when you walk into the okay. post office, it says everywhere recommended. It no, doesn't no. say it's no. the law. You are a liar and a trickster. How shameful. Aren't you ashamed of yourself?
See, ma'am, right now you're yelling at me, and I told foreign you foreign and domestic. I don't care. Oh, nice a belligerent woman I'm, still has so her you're, rights, so you're which I told you you guys can do. You're not going to help. We have an arrest. We have an arrest report. You guys have become the criminals. Do you guys have anything else Is this what you wanted when you took it? I'm not here to argue with you. Yes, you are. You're supposed to indulge me. You work for me. We're your masters. We are your masters. You you're are not criminal. dismissed. You are the criminals. And you're not dismissed, Evans. You deserve everything that's coming to you. Where along the line did you lose your way? Are you not embarrassed about the person that you become? Man, you guys are eating good today. You're getting these never-ending Karen clips that just seem to go on and on and on and on for absolute ever. And wow, that was a lot to break down. And it's actually crazy, to be completely honest. <laughs> And ironically, when it comes to anything to do with police in America, there's a lot of complications to everything about it. Like, there's just so many layers to anything to do with that. It's actually unbelievable. But I honestly think the one thing that I believe I have a good opinion on, I mean, this might be in entirely wrong, but uh, I don't think just because the police are technically public servants that you're in charge of their every move and they have to do what you say. I'm, I'm not sure that quite translates. If, if you if you know what I mean, I don't think that quite translates into that. Like, let's be real here. I mean, there's literally been court rulings that the police do not have a duty to protect you unless you are in their custody, which is honestly one of the more interesting things to have seen with this entire thing over the years. But ultimately, this is just an insanity of a clip. Just this Karen goes on and on. Like, they were there for probably God knows how long, just harassing the hell out of them. And the police are just like, well, that, that, that's their right to. Cool beans, we're just not going to argue with you. Bye bye, and move on with their day, which is fair. <laughs> that, but it doesn't sound like they're going to stop, so it is what it is, I suppose.